Hey guys, I device help here. I wanted to make this very quick video to update you guys on the latest information pertaining to jailbreak. Last night, the developer of Yalu iOS 10.2 jailbreak tweeted out a few things and I wanted to clarify everything. So last night, the developer tweeted as a solution to the seven day thing, meaning the re-signing of Yalu jailbreak on your device using Cine Impactor every seven days. So as a solution to the seven day thing, JBMe102 may become a thing when 10.3 gets released. So first, let's break down here JB me what's that mean so JB me if you've been around the jailbreak scene uh, for quite some time you may know what this means but for those of you who are new to jailbreak JB me was a jailbreak that was a uh, safari based so you can jailbreak your device without the computer using your safari web browser built into your device so the solution for the seven day was going to be a project or a solution done through safari the second tweet that I retweeted was a tweet confirming that he was the mystery man now there was two people working on a solution for the seven day re-signing of Yalu uh, being a Sorik, the developer of Cydia and look at the desk of the developer of iOS 10 jailbreak and I'm sure a lot of you guys were aware that he was going to be the guy working for this solution I mean he created the jailbreak right so uh, Sorik and look at the desk were the two guys working on this project look at the desk didn't get uh, enough time according to his tweet to pull it off so uh, he had time one day available and he was going to do it a JB me style according to his tweet he was going to uh, execute this JB me style which which is again jailbreak me but later that night he tweeted that he forgot that yalu kernel exploit must run on a 32 bit with a crafted 64 bit now this may sound like a bunch of mumbo jumbo because uh, we're not security researchers but i'm pretty sure he took the wrong path so now uh, the jb me 102 project that he announced prior uh, to this tweet was canceled so uh, it means maybe that he won't be releasing a safari based uh, anymore solution maybe he's he's going to come up with something else uh, but we'll have to wait and see after 10.3 is officially rolled out to the public which could be in the next a week or two which brings me to the last topic if you're running iOS 10.2 uh, do not update to 10.2.1 but if you're running 10.2.1 do not update to 10.3 no matter what nobody if you want to jailbreak everybody do not update to 10.3 it's not that 10.3 may not get a jailbreak but it iOS 10.2.1 is the last firmware with the old style file system iOS 10.3 brings a brand new file system and this could bring a lot of new things to the jailbreak scene for the jailbreak developers to work around may uh, delay uh, things here and there uh, but uh, the, the best the best option is to stay on 10.2.1 no matter who you are unless you're jailbroken of course you don't want to update and lose it uh, and that's everything I got for you guys I hope you guys enjoy this very quick video and I will catch you guys really soon peace